Welcome to The Threshold, the place of the intuitive, the mystic, the contemplative, a place to strengthen the connection to your core through mindfulness and inner wisdom. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a chill in the air. The nights are growing longer. Have you noticed the rhythm, this changing rhythm of the seasons? Let's talk. So have you noticed the days are growing shorter, and the days are getting darker. There just isn't enough hours of light in the day, at least for me. It's just so dark. Sometimes I find myself wondering what goes bump in these dark nights. At other times, I feel the velvety caress of dark night comfort. But most of all, I've learned to breathe into these dark moments. In fact, I call these moments the between time. Moments that provide the opportunity to just be. To adjust to this time of dark. To listen to what is being uttered within the darkness. To find the sparks of light within the dark. To grow into our truth. And that's huge. So now I'm not saying that the dark isn't a scary place. The not knowing aspect of the dark is disconcerting. What I am saying is that the dark is a place that calls us into awareness. An awareness that invites us to use all of our senses. That means for many of us using more than just our primary sense. In fact, it means being aware of how we often use our primary sense of sight and then ignore, consciously ignore what's going on with the other four primary senses. So some of us, including me, spend so much time focusing on what our eyes see that we miss what is hiding in plain sight. In the dark, it's really easy to miss what we cannot perceive with our eyes, what is obscured by the dark. We need to learn to perceive with our other senses. So I talk about Merton a lot. I'm going to throw out another Merton quote. It would be good if we would open our eyes and see. Now, I don't think that he was talking about our physical eyes. I believe that he was talking about using all of our senses. Only when we engage in full body listening do we gain a better picture of what is occurring. Only when we use all of our senses can we understand what is being shared. So let's return to the dark to engage in the discovery of the message within it because I believe that there is a message within everything that we do. First, name the emotion that is spiking within you. You know, if you are terrified of the dark, name it. If you feel the gentle caress of the dark, name it. If you feel somewhere in between, name it. If you can, resist the urge to react to whatever you are feeling. Resist the urge to turn on the light. Really breathe into the dark. And using all of your senses, notice what you're picking up. And this noticing happens without expectation. So you may ask yourself, what am I hearing with my physical ears? Or what am I hearing non-physically? What is my mind saying? What am I hearing out there that isn't physical? What am I seeing with my physical eyes? And then you might want to close your eyes and say, what am I perceiving with the eyes of my soul and my heart? What flavors dance on my taste buds? What am I smelling as the breath flows in and out of my nose? Again, this can be something that is physical or it might be something else that you're picking up that is non-physical. What am I feeling physically? And how are my emotions and other, in and other senses impacting my physical body? 
So sometimes I'll run down that list and then go back up and see what else I'm, I'm discerning at that point. But the important thing is it's just noticing. And within the noticing, intend to understand. You may receive a word, a phrase, an image. It could be something totally different than that. It's just be open to the wonder of receiving. And then sit in this in-between time with whatever you receive. You don't need to make sense of it in the moment. Just trust that when the time is right, you will understand the message. Now I'm going to say that while the dark can be a scary place, it's also a place where we meet our true self. Within the dark, whispers of intuition surround us. The whispers pick us up, lift us into the sky of our soul, where we catch the thermal and fly into who we are. So the dark isn't really a scary place. If we can hold on to that thought, it's a place where we can really learn more about ourselves and the steps that we're taking on the journey. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I do have additional resources on VanessaFHurst.com. If you're looking for a way to learn how to navigate the dark, as a contemplative coach, I would love to help you learn to create strategies using mindfulness practices and intuitive techniques. We will strengthen the core to your, or strengthen the connection to your core. But no matter what you choose today and in the future, I would hope that you listen to whatever the dark is sharing with you. Namaste.